How's it going, guys? Welcome to episode two of the Skyrim Let's Play. Yep, and we just finished Unbound, the intro quest, as you remember from last time, and the world is ours to explore. So yeah, then we gotta go check out uh, Riverwood. Riverwood, That's the first little village. I do like in this game how there's different tiers of settlements. There's the little villages, and then there's the actual holds, like the towns and the cities. Right. It feels more realistic, and it feels like people are building and expanding. Nice. You should go to solitude and join up with the imperial leaders. Yeah, they give you the little hints, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that you're not just thrown out into the world with no direction at all. You kind of have like a path, and you're given a little direction. It's funny how helpful everyone is, you know. I'm not constantly giving random strangers direction. Right. I hear this place is hiring. You might want to check it out. <laughs> guy that walks by me. There's gonna be some wolves pretty soon, I think. Are there gonna be? There's that cave, that like first cave that everyone. Should we check it out? Yeah, you should check it out. The first cave, oh, Ember Shard so Mine. Yeah. Here's Marks. Here's Marks. Smarts. Smarts. There we go. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, I didn't mean to search him at that angle. My bad. All right, Ember Shard Mine, here we go. I love the the cool um, execution animations are so glitchy still. They're kind of like twitching around. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're much more fluid yeah. than, like the normal animations are all like that, and then all of a sudden, when it, yeah. it's a cutscene, everything yeah. gets all fluid and <laughs> the frame rate goes up and everything. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> oh man, it's like they're attempted a, a cutscene. Bit of a discontinuity with the rest of the game. <laughs> do I have a bow and arrow? I believe I do, yeah? I, got uh, I think so, yeah. Rudimentary one. I could try some... Try to pick some people off. Okay. Try I don't know if does the fire give you away? I don't think so. Ah, uh, no, it's just... Yeah. It's loud to me, but apparently they can't hear it. Right. What is, what's a game with too many cutscenes? It'd be funny if there was a game where just like... Every Ooh. minute there's a different cutscene. Don't forget the rock trap you right Don't forget the rock so trap. Ah, look, you get shot that? in the neck with an arrow and he's just kind of slightly alerted, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He doesn't take it out, he just kind of runs. Yeah, no, he's fine. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Iron sword. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can oh. tell that I'm detected. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> where'd he, where'd he go? Right. Okay. He <laughs> slid forward. He's like Hieronymus Lex all over again. I just have, do I have just have an iron sword? I just yeah, have iron sword, so. so I'm gonna take his steel sword and studded armor. Yeah, and get my arrow back. Yeah, all right. I forgot how tremendously easy this is. You're fighting like other people. Other people? Yeah. yeah I mean, I don't you know. find other people in Oblivion. I, I feel like in Oblivion, towards the beginning, you're just fighting like mud crabs and those little clan furs and stuff. Oh, yeah, you you're know? right. So it kind of builds you up to other humans, but... You want to read? They've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of tunnel. If only we had uh, more of the wooden beams that we reinforced with bronze bottoms. Ooh, fancy. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so... Well, if he's scared about this stuff falling on him, why doesn't he not stand in a corner? Or, like, sleep in a corner? I mean, it's probably dangerous all around, right? I guess. You're in a mine. But, I mean, look. Look at his, uh... Well, he's okay, dead, so, right? I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. See, look, he's, like, he slept in the most precarious spot. Yeah. He <laughs> caved in a little bit. Well, I really hope. Last thing he said, what's a Nord without his mead? <laughs> Too bad I can't sleep a couple feet forward. I don't know if I'm doing a good job of exploring this place. I don't need the... The one rule is you gotta get all the Alto wine. That's the rule? Yeah. Why? <laughs> you Is that a rule that you had for yourself? Yeah. I'm gonna be over encumbered with a bunch of useless wine. Yeah, right, wine. exactly. I'm gonna be <laughs> but tipsy fighting these people. You know you have a lot of wine, so that's good. Get the lever. Oh yeah. Yeah. I knew that. Believe it or not. There we go. Really slap down hey, so suddenly. I heard something. Thought I heard something. <laughs> they're never gonna fix that. In the new, in the new Elder Scrolls, they're gonna be right in front of you, talking to their buddy. Oh, that was a good one. I don't know if anyone really does a little acrobatic jump like that before stabbing someone. <laughs> While you're stabbing in midair, I think I heard something. 
God. So is he oh, dead? There, he's dead. Yeah. How did he die? It looks like he's kind of waiting peacefully. Yeah, I, I thought he was still alive down there. <laughs> oh, All right. Oh, oh that's go. a nice. I like the how they set up the daggers and stuff. Yeah, and that's cool. Nice. Like the boss rooms have like a different glow to them. To yeah. Bash the crap out of them no matter yeah. what. And then I'm die. telling you guys, shield is the best. Sword and shield is the best. There we go. I don't nice. need all this stuff. <laughs> and I think the boss. I think he got his key, so you're good. That was him, right? Oh yeah, was it? It just said yeah. bandit. Let me see. He didn't have any cool lights. It says bandit. Maybe there the was key. no proper boss. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a tutorial cave. Yeah. Potion miner here. Stamp flames. Yeah. Gold. Yeah, take it all. I don't really. I, should I take this? Stuff? You have like two axes and two swords right now, so I think. You... I'll, I don't. <laughs> have, I don't have a lot of stuff in my inventory. You have a lot of weaponry, though. Yeah, I have a lot yeah. of iron weaponry. Clairvoyance. When oh, you got to read the spells, we got to read clairvoyance. Yeah, I got to read clairvoyance. I know about that. Did you ever use clairvoyance? I never used it. Is it? Is that where he shows where your quest is? It's, yeah, it gives you like the little ghostly pathway. Yeah, I'd use it quite often, actually. Oh, really? That's yeah. Sometimes I get tripped up or whatever and I would use clairvoyance, okay? Um, I maybe I'm a novice, maybe I'm a baby. I never got lost as much in this game, but it would have been helpful as heck in Oblivion. <laughs> in all those twisty caves that I hated yeah. so much. Oh shoot, somebody else. He's looking. Is he coming up to me? I thought I heard Let's something. try to use double destruction. Double destruction max. Yes, he thought I heard something. He runs at you. <laughs> They're so dumb. Yeah, they, they keep making it say, thought I heard something yeah. too late, don't they? Oh, is there somebody up there? Does it reach that far? No, oh, really? Really? oh almost. Nah. Oh, Alright, I gotta go back up there. The magic runs out quick. Yeah. Gotta be careful of that. Oh, okay. oh, 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 that's Ooh, scary. I dodged it. The charged attacks are really scary. Yeah, they're scary. All right, uh, steel sword. I should probably hotkey some stuff at some point. Uh, do I have everything good on? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I always forget the hotkey stuff. Yeah, me too. I never do that. Nice. Stand like behind her from the archers so they can like hit her. Oh. Not a bad idea, but. She's done with I'm it. taking care of business yeah. here, baby. All right. Sigurd charging his enemies. <laughs> Dang. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see that shoulder action? They're, they're like trying to move fluidly, but you can tell it's like a forced <laughs> movement, and they're like trying to get out of it. <laughs> oh, boy. Jeez, man. All right, let's the ragdoll see. effects and the animations are like working against each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this supposedly alerts people, right? Right. I don't think it ever actually does anything. I don't remember. You're at the end of the cave, so what's the difference? Yeah. yeah. I can jangle all the bones I oh, want. Oh, you're so close to two. I That's know. So I, I did level up. Right there. I leveled up. It did said you? I leveled up in the oh, cave. Oh, yeah, I, I was fighting. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta like actually go Do into that? the cave. Yeah, you have to up. Yeah. choose to level up. So sometimes you can just let it accumulate. So it's true. So three. Yeah. Increase health, magic, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time or save it for later. I'm gonna save the perks for later. This is and kind of exciting. I remember seeing this whole yeah. screen for the first time. I was like, whoa. So I'm gonna do health for now. I'm a big health and stamina guy. Yeah. Can't go wrong making your health higher. Let's get some thistle, some. Thistle branch. I have so many iron weapons. Put that bad boy away. We go Riverwood. Yeah, Riverwood. Come on. There's one of the two towns that everyone remembers. It's like Riverwood and right, White Run. White Run. Everything else is like yeah. Markarth, <laughs> Dawnstar, <laughs> Solitude. You remember all of them? I remember all of them. Wow. Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine. I keep telling you. <laughs> Truly. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after maybe. all. Maybe. You had best tell the Jarl in White Run. He needs to know about this. Pretty sure this voice actor voiced Haku and Spirit of the Way. Did he? Did he? Yeah. Fairly certain. I could be He's wrong. He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain Every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Of course. Take what you need. But what's all this about? What are you two doing here? You two? Oh, I can... that other guy. The guy you escaped with. 
Oh, yeah. So I can take some carrots. I can take the Idar cheese wedge, grilled chicken breast. I can take the iron ingot. Ooh. Don't Ooh, mind nice. if I do. Just take all this crap. I can take yeah. a silver ring. That's what I... How do I need that? <laughs> I, I really... This don't is my wedding ring. I don't need it here. <laughs> what? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. It's a dragon. A dragon? Yeah. <laughs> here dragon. in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Know what to do with that box. Who's holding it for like company, ten seconds? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Um, I already took your supplies. Do I really need to ask? Oh, can I use the forge? I see no harm in Sweet. it. If you have the skill. <clears throat> Oh, I do. The grindstone will improve your weapons. About to make a bunch of iron daggers. <laughs> oh yeah, the cheap way to get your skill up. So now do I have to go to Riverwood? Or I mean, sorry, White Run. That's the next step. Yeah, I think going to White Run. Yeah. Now I gotta go. Talk to Two different Boulder. people told me to go there. Yeah. All right. Or you could make a bunch of iron daggers and then go. I could. I don't have that much stuff to make iron daggers. Oh, true. I could sell him some of the. The, um, the stuff the weapons. you just took from him. Yeah. And, oh, so the stuff I could sell him back the stuff that he gave me, and I could sell him those iron weapons yeah. and stuff that I got. And there's all this. Oh. Here we go. That's what I was talking about. Ah oh, yeah. oh, man. There's like the metery next to White Run, and there's something else. Oh, this I, is up to High Cross. Yeah. Right. So this that. that's what I was talking about. Right. And maybe it. Yeah. So just cut through there. Don't stay on the roads. Don't stay on the road. There's White Run. <laughs> yeah. You see, that's a great view. I could run into some uh, some mountain lions. What do they call them? Um, I don't remember. Saber. Saber cats. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about those guys. <laughs> I feel like this is a dangerous route for me. No, I was like, I think you're close enough to the settlement that. Uh, not not really. They they kind of lay around out here. Yeah. Yeah. There's some little buildings about. Yeah, there's this windmill place. I forget about this. Is this the meadery or? This is yeah. This is hunting brew meadery or yeah. a different meadery. This is something. Oh God! There's a oh, there's a giant. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is when you meet the companions. I think. Uh yeah. Just, like, happen to be out but here I'm just gonna you. ignore them. You're not gonna now. engage. No. You don't want them to shoot you into the sky? No, well, that, they patched that, right? <laughs> oh, uh, that was the best part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> City's closed with the dragons about it. <laughs> Official business only. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. So dumb. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Dragon's Reach. Yeah, they got some Fiverr.com voice actors for this. They were really skimping yeah. on the, the guards. <laughs> the guards in this one. The, yeah, the, the Nord voice is not the best. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just it's so prevalent. It would be okay if it was like one kind of person, you know? Yeah, like the exactly. bards have all their own voices, but it's like so many. Yeah. <laughs> White Tron discovered. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more. I'd even take that guy over. The soldiers. I would use this forge a lot, actually, even though the Sky Forge. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Alright. That's the most convenient one. It's like right yeah. at the front. Exactly. And you can, like, you can buy and sell from both of those guys, you know? Yeah, that's true. So like, There's a root here in the Gilder Green, remember? Oh yeah, you gotta get like the dagger with mm -hmm. the sap or whatever. That's its own quest. Oh, this guy. What's yeah, the, the preacher's name? Heimsker. Heimsker. I think. Ashman. Hi, I'm Ashman. You said. He said. I told you. Instead of Ashman, he says. We told you. He said Ashman. Hi, I'm Ashman. We said that in the Oblivion <laughs> Let's Play. Yeah. We walked up to him just now, I can't believe he said it. He just, it was Ash. like a different inflection than yeah. I remember. Usually he yells at ASS MAN! <laughs> that was just, the ASS MAN! <laughs> it's more conversational. Beautiful Nordic Mead Hall. Let's talk to cool pimp Jarl Balgraf. Yeah. Oh god. 
Jarl Valbert is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal <laughs> past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, <clears throat> especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... <laughs> I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. Is that he the same voice as the Rorik's dead guy? Please, I think so. <laughs> you sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Yep. The standoffish court wizard Faringar. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of funny. The freezing for conversation thing was kind of off-putting in Oblivion, but at least there wasn't, like, a bunch of conversations over top yeah. of others. Yeah, that's, that's becoming really a problem yeah. already. <laughs> Oblivion did that right, for sure. Yeah. Secret fire. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Hostilities. Like the rest of the great warriors. Faringar. You know, if you've got the... I found someone who can help you with your college in dragon Winterhold project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that. that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like That's right. I wish you were more straight to the point as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Ble Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Alright, I'm just gonna go do that. Yes, so many questions. Off this is a priority now. Gotcha. Anything I like how we're just working for him now. We have one yeah. more conversation. No, no conversation <laughs> about pay or anything. Yeah. <laughs> we're bound to him. <laughs> we did admit that we had a criminal past. That's true. Bleak Fall Sparrow. Damn, those brave names. Bleak Fall Sparrow. <clears throat> the ongoing hostility. They picked some weird voice actors for this yeah, game. Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. <laughs> All right. We I need Wes Johnson, man. I hope he's in uh, the new the new one. Yeah, we do. Let's fast travel. Get a little closer. I don't know how a lot of you guys feel about fast traveling, but if I've seen it before, I'm gonna you know I'm not gonna walk traverse the whole. Yeah, of course not. Yeah. That's awful. And they, they actually make you find the cities in this one, whereas in Oblivion you could just fast travel them immediately, if I remember correctly. Uh, really? Them. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, I didn't know that. Yeah, they make you they make you sort of work for it. I can appreciate that. You need yeah, to know where cool. it is and how to get there first. And the other thing I appreciate about this game is that I think um, certain regions are different levels. Instead of in Oblivion, everything just leveled up with you evenly. But in, in this game, like if you walk too far and you're uh, you're not yeah. a high enough level, the trolls are gonna just like mess you up or yep. whatever, you know, right? Yeah. So I think same with the the cities. There's like sort of higher level cities almost with higher level quests. So yep. you gotta find them later on. Speaking of which, I'm gonna save right here. Cool. <clears throat> and that does that gives you a better sense of uh, progression than just like everything at once. 
Oh, you're coming upon a mammoth exactly, giant. Yeah, but camp. if you leave them alone and sort of route around them, you you just are... gotta you gotta find like the rock that they can't get up on and then just shoot a million arrows. At yeah, them exactly. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Wow, I forgot there were just regular skeletons in this game. I think I'm, I'm so used to the Draugr. Yeah. It's weird to see this normal oh. off. Okay. Oh. I feel a little safer with you there. <laughs> Even though I didn't think you were a friendly at first. Oh. Alright. I've tired myself out. I'd better be a little bit more careful. Uh -oh. right, uh, Just run through. No, I'm not gonna run anywhere. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna. Uh, That's so scary. Yeah, that is really intimidating. <laughs> Just like standing there, yeah. twelve feet tall, looking at me. How old you know, so them? I don't know what like their their sentience level is at. You know, it's hard to tell how yeah, it is. aware they are of what's going on. <laughs> That's what makes them even more scary. Yeah. The, the unpredictable factor. Oh man. Oh man, everything's so rocky. Would it be beneficial to go back to river or whatever? I was thinking about that. Is that a bit closer? Uh, I don't know if it's closer. I think it's more more of a direct route, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Is there a path up there? Yeah. Because I'll, so. I'll be like trying to go through the mountain. Yeah. That's that's another thing. Yeah, the mountains in this are worse than the mountains are really in bad. Oblivion. In Oblivion, you could sort of float because when yeah. you, your acrobatic skill would go up, you could sort of float up. You know, right. Mac would gracefully. Mac, could just, I could just tap Y up to high Hrothgar. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and it was like this frictionless... <laughs> I love that. Yeah. ...moon jumping. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, this is a better trajectory for Sigurd here. I think they also added some color to this... Not reboot, but just... Um, Remaster? Yeah, remastering yeah. of the... Oh, no, no, Because I, I remember Skyrim being so gray and depressing looking. It's still kind of gray, but I, I see it's what you're saying. Enough, like, there's nice, a little yeah. bit of vibrancy to it that yeah. wasn't there before. I'm Jeez. sure you will. What? Lucky hit indeed. <laughs> no sign of him. <laughs> no sign of him. I guess not. Man, everyone in this game is really dumb. Fellow traveler, one night, ignorant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. Hello there, friend. Oh, bard. How lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. Yeah, I guess Sliding it was lucky down. for the bard to chance upon a warrior <laughs> on the road as he was fighting a bandit. <laughs> oh, the foxes. It's cute how there's like animals that don't attack you. It's yeah, it's like nice. Rabbits and foxes. <clears throat> Oh, is this that witch's den or whatever? It's like some witch's hut thing over here. Yeah, I think so. But if you don't do anything to her, then she's cool with you, right? I believe so. How am I supposed to... Getting close. Yeah, forget where the actual trail is at. I'm bad at locating trails. Sorry, guys. I think everyone had trouble with this. All right. I did something wrong. We'll look up again. I think I think there's a winding pathway that we're close to. Yeah, we're getting close to. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, cool. this is it. All right, we're good. Stop running. I can't. I'm really having trouble with that. We're gonna have to get another. <laughs> we have Super to get another <clears throat> controller. <laughs> All right, cool. Now we can just jump a little, right? No harm, no foul. Is this a separate thing to discover? This is like its uh, own battlement here. I don't know, this is the way in. Oh, uh oh. Oh, jeez. What did you say? There's something a flea? Did you hear that? I can fight the flame! I don't know what it is. <laughs> Leave him while he's still can. <laughs> They're so confident. <laughs> Always so confident. Uh, they never know where the enemy is, even when he's right in front of them, and they're sure they're gonna win, and then they die. Yeah. I kind of want to explore this little 
This is- I think I'm on the way to High Hrothgar, by the way. I, I'm not sure. This? Yeah. If you think you, you can get me oriented, then you let me know. I think- turn around? I think- isn't High Hrothgar, like, in the distance of back there? I remember it being- I think it's that High Peak over there. Is it? it? I'm not sure. Isn't there, like, a boss in the top of this thing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bandit, that's the boss. Bandit. Yeah, there's usually a boss at the top of every one of these. <laughs> he definitely was not the Jesus. boss. Jesus. I mean, oh. he had the helmet and everything. <laughs> his head, like, cracked and his <laughs> axe went in his face. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Should I take the iron helmet? Is that any good? If you want, that's like the iconic iron helmet yeah. that he always wears in the commercials. Oh, the iron armor. Oh, ready to go. Got to get used to wearing the heavy armor. All this for a little chest. Okay. Yeah. Take it all. I'll take it all. Sigurd's a hoarder. Sigurd's a bit of a hoarder. He's gonna sell some stuff off, don't worry. That's good. He's just out questing right now and getting as much as he can do. Yeah, this is like its own little tower. That's so weird. <clears throat> yeah. There yeah, this go. is like... Yeah, Man. here we go. It really makes you wind around. Yeah, I know. Save again real quick. Uh oh. Oh. I didn't even do good. that. No, that's good. That's what it's for. Yeah, I know. But I like But to. I feel like you can... Those build up... Yeah, I don't want... I'm building up junk. I'm building up quick saves. <laughs> I'm already getting into bad habits this early in the Skyrim Let's Play. No good. Oh, man. All right, you guys can see me, and I can't see you. Oh, yeah? Uh -oh. Oh, okay, thank you. Actually, actually, very helpful. <laughs> Marshna! Tell you what. You start running, so I can stab you in the back. This is a stupid thing to say. It's not like clever. Or no, scary. I know. <laughs> not quite good enough, are you? All right, one more to go. Whoa! Took Whoa. you by surprise. Whoa! <laughs> that was so weird. This little just kind of bonked <laughs> her on the head. She got a very long neck. She did. Yeah, it looked like you were supposed to stab her, but there's no, yeah. <laughs> and the sword looks smaller in comparison to her head. There's I like all that. sorts of weird going on. All sorts of charmingly weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great sneaking opportunity. This is, yeah. I'm not going to see them. You can see them. You can hear their conversation. What was that? Go. Let's do some destruction magic. Yeah, let's burn them to death. Just spark them to oh. death. Whoa, that's oh. loud. Yeah, it is loud. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't expect it to be that loud. Just like... Explosion. He oh, had the, the shovel. shovel. <laughs> Always got to get the shovel. Hunting bow. It's going to be a little better. better. Yeah. All right. I don't need the long bow, do I? Get two iron swords. Yeah, I'll sell one of them. <laughs> Making fun of my iron sword oh, it's nice. deal. I always do the same thing. Yeah. I know I don't need it, but I'm like, ah. Yeah. I'll give you oh, five God. gold. I hate how much it. The rumble pack. Oh, is yeah, that a Nintendo really 64 chair? Yeah. It rumbles a lot. The rumble pack. I think it is. I got a rumble pack with my Xbox One controller. <laughs> I got a Game Shark. <laughs> I got a Game Shark. So I get all my mods for Skyrim. I lent my Game Shark to somebody in fourth grade, and he never gave it back. I remember like we couldn't get it to work. We got it to work like once. Yeah, oh well, yeah, Mario. he gave it back, and it wouldn't work. <laughs> did he break it? I think he did, but he denied it. Oh my I remember God. he was like, "Dude, I didn't do anything with it." I was like, "Well, you wow. had it last, and it doesn't work." And so now I can't make. Now's your chance. Mario come forward. Leave a comment looking. in the comment section. Let us know if you broke the game. Yeah, shark. <laughs> let us know if you're the guy who owes me a game shark so I could play <laughs> Super Mario 64 with cheats finally. <laughs> and Rogue Squadron. All right. Ooh, a potion. What? 
<laughs> really excited for the poster. Sigurd is just a little bit clumsy. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, this is you're supposed to see him die. Oh. To one see of how those. the test works. <laughs> this is great. You guys? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to end it there. I can't <laughs> think of a better spot to end it than that. That is so great. That's so classic. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so That's sad. That's like trying to show you, no, you don't do the same. You know? It looked like he was fully aware that that was going to happen, and he didn't care at all. Yeah, exactly. You know? He just accepted it. Was, it. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> here we go. I got to do my part. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank a, you. Yeah. Um... I was just remembering this thing. This is one of the things with the claw, right? It's like there's like a ruby yeah. claw and a gold Golden claw. claw. All right, and then you got to look at the symbols. I always hated that. I hate yeah, the one. Yeah, but yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this fun Skyrim Let's Play. We sure are enjoying it ourselves. Yeah. So thank you to the patrons and subscribers and everyone who supports us. Thank you so much, and we'll see you uh, next week. Take care. I'm getting out of here.